Amsterdam, a place known for canals, cyclists, coffee shops, and hotels in cranes. One of which I've definitely not experienced, and that is the latter, a crane hotel, because I didn't know it existed until recently. I think I found this place on Holiday Pirates when I was brainstorming for my videos. The Feralda Crane Hotel was initially a crane, and it's now being converted into a hotel, as the name may suggest. There are only three suites in the whole hotel, all of which are five stars, apparently. There's also an underground music venue and a hot tub on top of the crane. So I then found the website. I wanted to see how much it was. I wanted to see how soon I could go. So these are the only three rooms in the whole of the hotel. There's the free spirit room, the secret room, and the mystique room. I like the look of this one. I imagine that's gonna be the most expensive. I've had a look through quite a few of the photos, but I'm not gonna show you guys. I don't wanna spoil it. So I've just seen the price of the hotel and it's quite expensive, really expensive. I have some budget for the videos. That's why I do brand deals. That's why I put adverts in my videos, but a thousand euros thousand euros so maybe I lied the flexible rate is a thousand euros but the normal price is 900 which I mean that's still ridiculously expensive for one night the secret suite is even more expensive at 990 euros and the cheapest room is 612 euros I really really want to go to this place now I don't know why but they've hooked me the fact it's in a crane the fact it's also so expensive it must be amazing well you would hope so for that much money anyways I think I'm gonna do some emailing see what I can do potentially get a discount. If I do get a discount, hopefully the next time I see you, I'm on my way to the airport. Okay, so it's Monday right now. Me and Glenn are on our way to the airport. We're flying from Stansted to Eindhoven, which is an airport near Amsterdam. We're then getting the train into Amsterdam. Tonight we're staying somewhere I don't know where yet because I haven't booked it. I will try and get that organized before I am homeless tonight. And then tomorrow night I managed to book the Crane Hotel. I did actually get a discount. It was still extremely expensive. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. And then leaving Amsterdam on Wednesday morning to go straight to Mykonos. I'm actually getting a train from Amsterdam to Dusseldorf in Germany. And then I'm getting the plane from there to Mykonos because the flight was only 40 pounds I don't know how I found it. Glenn is kindly the Uber driver for today. Are you excited mate? Another trip? Yeah. Keep right Please. To shut, shut, up. Up. shut up. Anyways we're gonna get on with the journey and I will see you guys in a bit. My bag is three kilos over and it says I have to pay 33 pounds which is double what I paid for the bag anyways to add it on so we're gonna move some stuff into our bags and uh Hopefully it should be okay. 9.8 kilos, absolutely smashed it. Ryanair, you're not taking any more money off me today. Okay, so we're now in Eindhoven. We're at the airport bus station. We're just waiting to get a bus into Central. We have about an hour and 15 until our train. What is the first thing we're gonna do when we get to Amsterdam? No, <laughs> no. Take two. Glenn, what is the first thing we're gonna do when we get to Amsterdam? Third and final chance, Glenn. What are we gonna do when we get into Amsterdam? We're gonna go have a coffee, Ben. Okay, that sounds like a great yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great plan. We're now actually at the hotel. I managed to find a last minute booking for about 50 pounds. The guy also said he gave us a free upgrade, which is great. I imagine it's just really quiet and that's why he did it. All right, room tour. Oh, wow. This is actually really nice. Let me get some light in here. So yeah, this is our room for tonight. As you can see, there is two beds, nice little area to put your clothes. Not that we're gonna do that. We're only here for about 12 hours. And then there is the toilet bit here and the shower is right here. There is 
a non-existent door. This room is extremely nice considering it's about a tenth of the price of what we're staying in tomorrow night. Hopefully it lives up to that price because it's a lot of money for one night in a place. There isn't a hot tub here though, so I guess there's a bit of difference. There is something about the Netherlands I love so much. Eindhoven, Amsterdam are such nice places. Highly recommend if you wanna come for a little weekend break or something like that. So the bags are now dropped off at the hotel. We're on our way to a place called Vegan Junk Food, which uh, as the name quite clearly suggests is vegan junk food. Got our food. I've got a burger with some fake chicken and fake bacon in, and Glenn has got, I don't know what he's got, but it looks good. Wow, that meal was actually so, so good. Vegan junk food bar, if any of you guys want to come here. I feel fat, mate. You're need, fat? No, I, you're not. I need Boris Johnson's cycle bikes. So me and Glenn have just come to this store, and there is a drinks room, which is a complete fridge. Like, the whole thing is a fridge. This is so clever. Why don't we do this in our country? Like every single drink in here must be so cold and that is amazing. That makes me so happy. How are you feeling, Glenn? Pretty tired to be honest, mate. Oh, really? Yeah. Me too. Must be uh, something in the air here. Oh my days, that looks so good. Glenn, what have you got? A little cheese and ham toasty? Ham and cheese toasty, sorry, I got it the wrong way the around. The one, mate, the one. Glenn is getting some cash out because I think he wants to go to a coffee shop. What are you doing there? Um, nothing. Getting coffee? Getting some coffee. I need an iced latte, mate, is what I need. So we obviously checked out earlier of the hotel. I dropped off my bags at this bag drop-off place because the hotel wouldn't do it. We had breakfast as well, that was so, so good. Highly recommend the place we went to. As you can see, it's a cruise along Amsterdam's hidden secrets, apparently. It's about an hour long, and I think they have drinks in there as well. I don't think I've ever said this before, but if you want to save £35 off an Airbnb booking, whether it's a house or experience, go to the link down below. Please subscribe to get my voice back as well. Thank you. It starts in 14 minutes, but I've just come to this shop, which I really, really like. They have some really cool clothes here. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Sangria they have, uh, beer and soft drinks. Jeez, Glenn's taking his get, top get off them the raised, ladies. Mate. Get them raised. <laughs> I will be your captain for this next hour. Be close to the wall, don't try to stay, don't try to... Look at it, there is the crane right there, and I can see how there is three two-level suites. That is actually so cool. I'm sorry I'm making you push my suitcase just so I can vlog. There is a hot tub on top of the crane. Can you believe it? A hot tub right up there. The area around here is so cool as well. There's so much graffiti and a lot of murals. Very, very cool place. You're downstairs? Yeah, I'm downstairs right now. All right, perfect. We'll be there. One second. Okay, thank you so much. See you in a sec. This is the weirdest entrance to a hotel I've ever experienced. Look at this. Oh my days. Hi. Hello, nice Come to meet in. you. Hello. Thank you so much. All right, we are now going to our room. I've got my card. Look at this. What's that? This is so weird. What the hell? Oh my days. Look at that. Wow. That was the first elevator to get to the viewing deck, I guess. And then there is another elevator which goes to our rooms. I don't think I have to scan it. Oh my days. Oh no. Just forgot my suitcase. <laughs> Wait there. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> oh, 
and we have arrived at our room. Free spirit, as you can see, that is what it is called. It's really windy up here. This is a view from either side. It is pretty damn nice. Does it work? It does. Oh, here we are. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell? I am going to give you guys a proper tour, but first, I want to get some cinematics and, uh, yeah, see how cool we can make this place look. So I'm now gonna give you guys a proper tour of my annoying voice in the background. As you can see, this is like the living slash sitting entrance place, I guess. There is some really, really interesting things in the wall. There's a guitar, there's these weird little, I don't know what these are, but I'm sure someone will. There is even these windows which actually open as well, which is so cool. There's a little plate up here which says, just the most interesting items you'd never find anywhere. Like, who thinks of these things? There's hats on all of the lights. There's a little mini fridge down here. We've already demolished half of it. This is the air conditioning, I believe. Obviously, a um, fire alarm and all that important health and safety stuff. The view is so amazing from every direction. The toilet in here where you do your sh quite literally. As you can see, there's a nice little vanity mirror, toilet, a shower. Very important, there's a coffee machine as well. I'm gonna be using this tomorrow morning when I leave to go to my next adventure, which I'm also filming. Please ignore my mess, but you then come up these very, very tight stairs to the main bedroom area. But first, there is a bath right here. There is a TV, there is some very cool paintings. And then behind all these curtains is the main bed. Right here is a double bed. I think it's a king bed, actually. It looks massive. And then two bathrobes. I'm probably gonna take one up to the hot tub and a peacock. What, why is this here? I don't know but there is a peacock in my bedroom watching me sleep. And there is a balcony downstairs with an unreal view. I mean, literally every single view from this place is amazing, but you can also see the elevator, which I think is really, really cool. And finally, possibly the thing I'm most excited about, the hot tub on the roof. Well, the roof, the top, it's not a roof, is it? It's a crane. And yeah, this place is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually here. Thank you guys so much. Everyone that watches my videos and supports me and enables me to do things like this, just massive thank you. Now we are pretty high, really high. And just like that, there is a hot tub on top of this crane. What the actual, look at this, how amazing. Wow. Look at the view of Amsterdam, this is so amazing. And if you can see over there, that is the hotel I stayed in when I did my Bitcoin video and I came to Amsterdam. Oh yes. Wow. How would they have been able to get the crane to lift the hot tub to here? They would have had to have used another crane. Right? This is undoubtedly one of the coolest experiences I've had in a long time. Expensive, but very, very cool. Wow, that is actually so nice. Oh my days, wow. What a view to have whilst just sat inside of your hot tub with your mate. Nice one, bro. I'm still undecided if it's worth this much money, but it's such an exclusive thing. There's only three rooms here. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but look how dark those clouds are. And it is sunny over there. And it was sunny like 10 minutes ago, but we are being absolutely surrounded. I think he's called Eddie, the guy that owns this. You are a legend. I don't know how you came up with this, but fair play to you. So me and Glenn have just left the suite from all the way up there. We are going to get some food now. The place right over there is where we're gonna go get food. But first we're gonna go for a little walk. The elevator is here to pick us up. This elevator is the coolest elevator I've ever been in. We've just got our food. I've got a mushroom burger with some sweet potato fries and Glenn has got a boar burger. I can't believe that is actually boar, like real boar. As opposed to fake boar. Yes. I feel like I'm actually in a film, do you know what I mean? Yeah, look up bro, look at the legs hanging from the ceiling. What? There are so many little Easter eggs that you keep finding in this hotel, it's so sick. I'm so Scared now I can see that properly. Are we really about to go up that? Nah, surely <laughs> not, bro. Oh, I don't like this. I just realized the light up here is LED. Look how cool that is. I can change it all different colors. Sick. Okay, let's make it like the red light district. While I'm on the topic, me and Glenn are not a couple. We are friends. Glenn is in a relationship with a female. Oh, 
Oh my days, it is freezing up here. Just turned 6 a.m. Look how beautiful the city of Amsterdam looks. Wow. And the fact you can see that view while sat in a hot tub, I'm gonna have to make the most of it. Wow, this is actually so nice. I could stay here forever. I'm going to enjoy the hot tub for a bit longer and then I'm gonna go pack and leave to go for my next flight. Goodbye bedroom, you were amazing. I will miss you very much. I don't know if I'm gonna miss these tight stairs, but this experience has been insane. Look at this place, man. Sick hotel to be fair, uh, views are mad, and uh, everything around it's just such a cool little vibe. What does the Glen rating get? Glen rating out of 10, um, including the price Wait, factor. the Glen out of 10? The Glen out of 10. The Glen out of 10, including the price, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Wow, nice, nice, nice. I would pretty much give it the same. Obviously it's very, very expensive, but it's an experience you won't get anything like this in your lifetime probably. If you've got the money to come here, 100% do it once in your life. It's so cool. One final time in this weird booky elevator. I don't think I'm gonna miss this elevator much. What about you? Uh, no, they are a bit scary. What an amazing place. Wowza. Oh, shut up, you stupid suitcase. Okay, so I don't know how well you're about to hear me. My hair looks awful, which is why I'm wearing this hat. As you saw in the last clip, I went to the airport and ended up getting a train. That was because I didn't fill out my COVID grease form, which is basically to allow you to, be able to get into the country. I didn't do it on time. I did it on the day of travel, not the day before travel, so they didn't let me get on my flight at the airport. Absolute shambles, I was so upset. Obviously, I cannot complain. I'm here now, I ended up getting a cheap flight the next day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I had so much fun filming it. Please do subscribe. We're so close to 500K. I'm trying to become famous in Mykonos, as you can see. Comment some video ideas down below. I'll shout out your name if I actually use it. And that is the end of the video. I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.